Hello Crypto Kings, welcome to another episode. This is episode five of this new show, um, Stepping Into The Future. Uh, we've had a pretty busy week this last week in the crypto space. Uh, we've had some heavy, heavy drops, which has been really, really nice. Uh, if you want to be coming into the market this week or next week, I think uh, now would be a pretty good time to do so. The market's looking uh, pretty good, but uh, we did have a $800 pump, but we're trying to find a new low, I feel. So hard to catch this falling knife, especially in this six month uh, falling um, downtrend. But we'll get into the market anyway. As it is, Bitcoin is trading at $9,047. Ethereum is uh, $715.06. Ripple's taking a bit of a hit. It actually went up to almost 95 cents last week, back down to 73 cents. Bitcoin Cash, sitting at 11000 Oh, sorry, $1,194.70. EOS is at $14.35. Litecoin at $132.12. Stellar at $0.31. Cents. Uh, Adda is at $0.21. Cents. Myota is $1.55. Tron is uh, got all the way up to $0.6.8 cents this morning because it... Uh, is pretty much getting put on BitTorrent, and that's at 6.4 cents, up 4.55 cents in the green. And of course, just under Tether, Neo is at $52.56. Could keep going down the list, but uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to cover this morning. I've really been wanting to talk about this for quite some time, so I've had this bee in my bonnet for over six months now, and I think it's about time that I actually share this little information with you. And and if you're gonna if you're gonna hate and, and carry on, um, I suggest you um, leave now because I'm actually going to be bringing up certain uh, coins that I feel like uh, have either done the right thing or the wrong thing. And you can pretty much, if you listen to 98% of YouTubers, you know there's a lot of YouTubers and people in the in the space that I, I feel like are fully capable of predicting the market and their charts and they're good at that, man. But the way they diss and carry on about white paper, I feel like that is so wrong um, to to say, oh, like you should follow white paper because it, it's uh, it, um, because it's the best way to look at a coin. And then I say, oh, I don't, I don't believe that at all. I think actually following a white paper is actually pretty much point, putting a shotgun under your head and blowing your own brains out. If you're going to be following white paper in this space, don't even bother coming into the space. The uh, the white paper is there to have an overview of a business. The white paper is not at all a legal binding document. And if you're going to follow the white paper, like every white paper, every ICO out there, you're gonna you're gonna wreck yourself pretty much. So I don't feel like the white paper is due for that. And I'll, I want to talk about specifically with Tron. Tron got so much hate and so much heat put on it earlier this year because oh yeah the white paper was just copied and pasted yeah of course the white paper was copied and pasted every white paper is going to be copied and pasted it's not a legal binding document they're hard at work they don't need they don't they you know what they're a Chinese company and they don't feel like they they need to prove anything in white paper I mean if I'm going to start a business too my business is not going to be a replication of what the of what the actual business is going to be. Like if I'm going to start up a company, if I'm going to get investors on board, of course I'm going to write up basically what it's going to do, but I can't actually write up specifically, um, specifically what it's going to, uh, what it's going to be or what it's going to say, like or how much profit I'm going to make. That's not foretold, and they've actually got a, a legal document here uh, brought up. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say the coin of which I brought up this legal document because it, it'll make you pretty upset. Um, but it goes on to say, and I'll read this, says it's no advice in the contract. It says no part of the available information should be considered to be business, legal, financial, or tax advice regarding the company. The tokens, the token sale, or any of the matters to which all of any part of the available information relates. You should consult your own legal, financial, tax, or other professional advisors regarding the available information. You should be aware that you might be required to bear the financial risk of any purchase or token for an indefinite period of time. 
that's in one of our top 10 cryptocurrencies and it's a legal disclaimer saying that they don't need to provide you any sort of detailed information about a white paper. White paper is not important at all in this space. We need to be looking at produce. You need to be looking at companies that are gonna be doing well. Companies that are gonna bring real life application to this world. I feel like there are coins out there in the top 20 that aren't gonna do crap. That aren't gonna do anything. All right? I'm looking at companies, look at, look at Dent. Are you serious? I don't think Dent is gonna be doing anything. I don't think Dent's gonna be doing putting a dent in your own wallet. And I don't believe that company, uh, I know they wanna share mobile data, but I don't think that Telstra or Vodafone or any company like that, in their right mind is gonna let that happen or fly on the beach. They will block the hell out of that because they are the controllers of data. And at seven cents, man, maybe if you bought at 30 cents, I would cut your losses and sell that. I don't know, maybe you wanna hold. Maybe you just wanna see what happens. But I don't feel like in the long term, I feel like Tent Dent is an absolute rubbish coin. I don't feel like it's got anything to do with the future. It's not even in the top 20, I don't even think. But this is one of those coins that just you, you need to really be careful of. I mean, they could have the most glossiest white paper in the world and it still, it, it won't mean anything. It won't mean anything in the future. Um, I'll, I'll read you some more of this. Uh, what, if any YouTuber brings up white paper, they really need to just be closed down and given the most dislikes possible. And there's plenty out there that are saying, oh yeah, this coin's going to do this. This coin's going to do that. They shouldn't even be allowed to talk about about um, you buying into a coin. They're no legal advisors. I'm not a legal advisor. This is not financial advice. And my opinions are my own. But I feel like if white paper isn't a legal, legally binding document, don't follow it. It's not to say what the company's gonna do here or there. It doesn't even matter, it's got nothing to do with anything. And the argument with Tron that, that it's a crap coin because of its white paper is completely misinformed. And if anyone ever brings that up with me again, that, oh yeah, Tron's a crap coin, they're gonna cop it because it's not a legally binding contract. It's not there to say, yeah, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. Why don't you look up GitHub? And even then, that's not a legal binding document. GitHub is also used as a tool to show investors what's going on. It's not a tool to say, to say yay or nay or, or, or this is exactly what's going to happen. And I feel like if you follow white paper to the T, you're going to shoot yourself in the foot because you're going to look at Tron that was, what was it, two cents in February, US, got down to 3.3 cents. Mate. If you held that coin, you've already doubled your money, you beat. And if you held it before Christmas, you beat. You would have 40-dexed your money. You know, it's just so important not to follow the trend of white paper and all these stupid YouTubers are saying, oh yeah, white paper's crap, this and that. Mate, freaking sort it out, man. Have a look at the numbers. You know, have a look at, have a look at every single person and team you're looking at have a look at their university degrees or whatever that they're in, that they're doing and make your judgment on that on the people that they're employing on what they're pumping out and what they're going to be doing for the future white paper is no in like, i could write a white paper about 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 the crypto kings youtube show and and what we're going to be doing in the future that doesn't that doesn't mean anything you know and that doesn't mean anything if i die tomorrow do you know what I mean? So it's not a legal binding document. Uh, one more before I close on this little topic. It's going to offend many of you little brats. Um, it also says in the contract, the company has approached a token sale in a responsible and sensible manner. Given the uncertainty and large unregulated status of distributed ledger technologies, businesses and activities as well as cryptocurrencies and crypto related businesses and activities, the company has spent a significant amount of time and resources to consider its business approach and where it proposes to operate now and in the future. The company has worked hmm, with law firms, the Financial Service Commission of the company, hmm, publish a draft of the principle based regulation which related to the use of distributed ledger technology for storing and transmitting valuable belongings to others and which reg regulations come into effect of 1st of January 2018. The company will look to comply with all regulations and regulations of other jurisdictions that it is required to. However, due to the current uncertain status of regulation across the world, the company cannot guarantee the legality of the company's business platform and or its ability to develop, 
structure and license any further token functionalities in every jurisdiction. But the company will strive to be responsible and compliant in the face of any regulatory requirement. So in the contract, they're saying, yeah, you can go ahead and read the contract, but it's not going to mean anything. It's not going to mean anything at all. <clears throat> um, you know, you read the white paper at your own risk. If you want to read the white paper and follow that to a T, we'll rip to you because the white paper is not a legal binding contract. You need to study this. You need to study your coin. All right. Look at EOS. I remember EOS. EOS is a crap coin. I'll tell you why. They actually released a tweet in February, March saying anyone can do what we're doing. All right. And now they've had a massive brain fart with their main net launch. It's going to be very interesting to see where EOS goes. But I will not be investing in EOS. I'm not going to touch EOS at all. Yeah, sure. In the short run, EOS may do you know fantastic things, but I do not see. I'm, I don't see it doing being a top ten coin for long, considering its track record. EOS and Litecoin, unfortunately to say, I do not see. I feel like they've they've ridden their time out. The community's backing them 100%. I do not feel like these coins are going to succeed. There are other coins below them in the top 10 that will be top 10 coins. Anyway, that's all we have for today on the Crypto thing. Crypto Kings, thank you for joining in on episode 5. Uh, we will see you on the next one. Bye for now.